You know, it's rare when you can find a game that infuriates you to no end, just beats you to a pulp over and over and over thousands of times, but yet you still want to play it. That's this the case with Spelunky. This game is uh, one of the funnest games, one of the most addicting games I have ever played in my life. And I've been playing games a long time. But I'm just going to show you guys the Spelunky basics here. There's just so much to talk about in this game. I can't go through it all in one video. I just, I'm just going to go through what the biggest dangers are in each level. The first level is the mines. This is the most basic level. But trust me, it gets ridiculous. Even this level can be hard. The thing that makes Spelunky so difficult is that it's never the same twice. Every time you boot up Spelunky, you will never get the same level consecutively. I'm not even sure if they repeat. If you don't have patience, this game will teach you patience. You won't give up because the game is so addicting. And that's what makes this game so special in my opinion. You'll give up for a while, but you'll come back. It, I still haven't got to hell yet, which I have gotten so close, literally at the doorstep. I'm going to get there. But here's your currency in the game, these gold bars and gems. You'll need these to buy items from the shopkeepers. But if you're like me and are trying to get to hell, you'll have to kill the shopkeepers. There really is no other way. But unfortunately, the shopkeepers are the biggest danger in this game, period. There is no other danger that is more deadly than the shopkeepers. As, you, as you'll see here, I'm going to kill the shopkeeper here. If, you have, if there's a gun he's selling and you can kill him right here, like that, either an ice ray or a shotgun, you can steal all his items and take his shotgun. Always take his shotgun because you'll need to defend yourself against the, the, uh, the shopkeepers that will guard each exit every level after the one you killed them on. And they'll be waiting for you, trust me. And they're very hard to deal with. But but the good news is you'll have access to a lot more items. And you'll need this this amount you'll need a great amount of items to get to hell, and that's what I'm trying to do here. Always be watching above your head for spiders that will fall on top of your head. And bats, the best way to deal with bats, if you have a shotgun, obviously just shoot them, but jump on top of them. I'll get to that in another video on how to deal with each enemy individually but the shopkeeper here there are a lot of ways to deal with shopkeepers but if you have a shotgun obviously you just want to shoot the hell out of them and you gotta shoot them three times and don't stop shooting don't ever stop shooting if you think they're dead just keep shooting keep shooting till they're dead and lifeless corpses just sitting there you'll thank me later because there have been many a times where I've shot him and thought he was dead and yet the bullet hit something else and it what what didn't hit him and yet I'm already dead and looking at the main menu screen again you don't want to have this see here's how you deal with the bats you jump on top of them most of the time let them get real close to you and um, jump on top of them now like I said you're gonna have a shopkeeper guarding the exit see how he's just running back and forth back and forth Sometimes you, if you can just jump on his head, you can do that. But if you, if you don't have that option, if you don't feel like you can make it, you're gonna have to come in from a different angle. And he'll get stuck in, uh, they'll get stuck in traps and sometimes kill themselves in spikes. That's what you really want them to do, or get killed by tiki traps or something else. But you want to get them in where you can deal with them easily, like here in this small narrow hallway-looking thing here. Sometimes if there isn't a path, you got to create one to deal with the shopkeepers. And dealing with the shopkeepers, it, it's really hard, but it's, it's going to be the way you're going to have to play if you want to get really good at the game. There are a variety of traps in Spelunky. These little face uh, stone statues will shoot darts out a la Indiana Jones style. This game was inspired, I think, by Indiana Jones. Just look at the character. I think that's another thing that makes this game appealing to me since I'm an Indiana Jones fan. But, yeah. You have to be wary of every trap in this game. You have to know how to deal with them. Always drop something in front. See how I dropped the shotgun in front? 
you have to do this for these traps always be wary where they are they're so easy to miss sometimes too you have to always be wary of your surroundings in this game there's a key hidden in the mines now if you can get the key and find the chest you'll get this uh, eye which shows you all the gems that are hidden and sometimes hidden items are hidden in the walls too and these giant spiders always find one of these and kill them if you can one item you're definitely going to want to get before you leave the mines is the paste right here this white jar you need this for your bombs because it's it makes the bombs stick to a surface extremely important for later in the game or any time in the game and there's the chest as you can see this is randomly placed throughout one of the levels you don't know which level it's going to be so you have to always be looking for it this is just one of the prerequisites to get to hell or the city of gold before hell but another case here with the shopkeeper now I don't make it here I, I think I, I die here I make a mistake and you're gonna make mistakes in this game and the thing is you have to just learn from your mistakes it's not easy to do sometimes but you have to learn from your mistakes one thing you're gonna have to get used to is dying you're going to die in this game a lot a, a lot and you're just gonna have to get used to it and, and learn from your mistakes like I said if you've ever seen that show a thousand ways to die get used to it because there's over a thousand ways to die in Spelunky